Hey everyone, so glad you stopped by my channel today for this video, which is a day in my life as a mom of three. And get ready for some seriously cozy springtime vibes as we get it all done today from planting some flowers, doing some spring cleaning and decorating, and doing some homeschooling with my kids. I'm sharing what we're eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I have a Starbucks coffee recipe dupe to share with you that I think you're going to love. I'm also sharing with you what I'm putting into my kids' Easter baskets this year if you're looking for some practical and fun ideas for Easter gifts. Give this video a thumbs up while you're watching it if you get some motivation or encouragement from it. That's my goal here with the videos I share and I'd love to have you subscribe and turn that bell button on if you're new. And let me know in the comments what your favorite color is. This time of the year is so vibrant and beautiful and I've been loving to add a bit more color to my home lately. I'm glad you're here with me for this day and let's get it started. Who just woke up? Good morning. My plan was to get a much earlier start on the day, but I had a little one coming to my bed at 5.30, and we just kind of snoozed and cuddled together. Time for me to get their oatmeal going, and we're gonna start the day. You might notice I'm speaking a little different right now. I just got my first tray of Invisalign yesterday. There's definitely a little bit of soreness, a little bit of discomfort, but not nearly as bad as what I've experienced in the past with um, actual like wire traditional braces. So how about we get some breakfast and your glasses on? Okay. And maybe some clothing for school. <laughs> Do you want to wear your jammies to school? No. no. Go get dressed. Come on. Mama. I see you got your glasses on. Do you want to go get your brothers up? Okay. Let's go tell them, time to get up, time to get dressed. Okay. Good morning, boys. So while we're waiting for that um, oatmeal, it should take like six or seven minutes, I am going to get my face on and maybe do my hair a little bit. Super, super fast. just beeped three minutes ago <laughs> and everything looks fine <laughs> my little alarm just went off I'm gonna go start the van and get it warmed up there's frost on the ground our van is frosted over I'm so grateful that we have such a safe neighborhood I am able to go out there and have my van running in the driveway um, before we leave <sighs> This is what I've been having for breakfast lately. Oatmeal with a scoop of protein powder in it. I've been trying to get more protein in my diet lately and um, this is a good way to do it. So I'm wolfing this down and my teeth are sore. I took the trays out so I could eat because that's what you're supposed to do. And as I'm like just eating oatmeal, it's like, ooh, there's some definite like sensitivity and tenderness. It's not too bad. It's not like straight up pain, but it's still, uh, Definitely more sore than what's normal. But that's good. That means things are moving, and that's what we're yeah. doing this for. Home again, home again. I changed. I'm wearing my coffee shirt. You know what that means. Coffee recipe coming in this video. Um, but not before I get my Kroger order. I actually have to set my grocery order. Um, because it has an ingredient in it <laughs> that I need for the coffee recipe that I'm sharing with you. So stay tuned for that. Boys are on their second, what is this, third? Fourth. Fourth helping of oatmeal? Get like the first wave of daily chores done, which means setting a load of laundry, getting the dishwasher unloaded, cleaning up the kitchen, wiping everything down, doing a sweep and setting that grocery order. I can't forget to do that. So if you have any household chores to do right now or clean up to do around your house, why don't you get on up and we'll do it together. It's always fun to do it with a friend. Here's your cue. If you needed a little bit of motivation, a little push to get off your butt and get going, let's do this together and then we'll do some homeschooling. schooling. 
new favorite song to unload the dishwasher to because I love to use music to time my chores and to help me stay on track is L-O-V-E by Nat King Cole. It's like just almost too short of a time to unload the dishwasher too, so I do it super fast. I know that it only takes me as long as the song goes and it's one of my favorite songs. In fact, Nat King Cole is probably my favorite musician of all time. I can't play the song for you in this video. I'll find some other little schmaltzy sort of jazzy song to play while I'm unloading the dishwasher, but Love by Nat King Cole, it's a good one. It's night in the city and I'm home back home humming on my favorite ditty swinging like natalie cole Ooh, but then out of the blue a wind starts blowing in a way so new a world more exciting than mine it's holding up a great big welcome love this kind of music so much. I think jazz, especially like retro jazz, is just my absolute favorite genre of music. I know I already asked you what your favorite color is, but I would really love to know what your favorite genre of music is as well. Let me know in the comments while I finish cleaning up this kitchen. boys help me do that. Now we're sitting down to schoolwork. I just set I the grocery order at Kroger. So that should be here in a little bit. What are you working on, Judah? The rainbow. The rainbow? And what is Liam working on? Where was that page that I picked for you? I did, I did it. Oh well, I picked it for you so we're gonna do it together, okay? I will help you with it. This is Doggy Diary. By the way, if you guys are wondering, this is the book that Liam is working in right now. I got this for the boys. This is the Brain Quest first grade workbook, and I really like it. We do the highlights workbooks as well. We have one for each boy of the highlights and one for each boy of the Brain Quest. Complete each sentence with a word from the word box. Do you see this yeah. word box here? What word box? There are different words. Can you read the words in these boxes? Happy, stick. It's a person's name, or a dog's name. Gus. 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 And? Uh, Fetch. Fetch, you're right. Okay, so these words will go in these blank spots all over these two pages, and we have to figure out which word is correct. Seven, eight, nine. Nine, so draw a line from that to the nine. Judah comes with his own sound effects. Like this? No, like this. Do uh, this. Make like a Mr. Like, Krabs pincher. Like arr, 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 arr. Then you go like this. Look, let me show you. You mm -hmm. take you take like your that, pincher. Mom? Is this the like left that, mom? And you grab it. Like that, mom? Yes, except for closer to the bottom of the pencil. I got that here. Okay, play. Well, you gotta put your book away. Make a portal, Judah. There you go. The boys right now are playing a little bit of Minecraft. We have discovered Minecraft in our family. We're currently building our house and it's like this dream mansion and there's a pool and it's like in the side of a mountain and um, it's still in the beginning stages but we have lots of big plans and it's been really fun to just sit down with the kids and even though it's a video game, it's still really creative and it's been such a like bonding experience for us to sit down and play Minecraft. Like how funny is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, are you setting things on fire with lava? Yeah. That, that's that been a recent discovery is how to set things on fire with lava. And we just play in creative mode, like not the survival mode. Oh my gosh, you are too silly. So they're each gonna get like a 10 minute turn. Um, we have about 20 minutes until we have to go pick up Haley. We have to leave to go pick up Haley. 
Um, and I am gonna go around with this next 20 minutes. It won't take me that long, but um, our windows are looking a little scuzzy. Usually I clean them once a week. Missed it this last week because my cleaning day happened to fall on the day that my sister Anna um, had her baby and she wanted me there, which was so sweet. I got to uh, film. She asked me to do videography for her. So I got to be there to witness the event. It was amazing. She had um, her baby at a birth center, the same one my sister Christina did, with the same midwives that my sister Sarah had her baby at home with. It was just magical and amazing. And if you guys wanna leave some congratulations for Anna and her husband, Josh, then I will have her uh, Instagram linked in the description box so you can go say hi over there and see pictures of baby Silas. that grime you can't even see my flowers out there okay just a few minutes left on that load going on right now and when I get home I'll transfer that over and get the wipes going but now it's time to go pick up Haley <gasps> guess who had a good day at school not me. Haley. <laughs> we are now at our local nursery and we're gonna stop in to see if we can find some fun flowers. I'm looking for some tulips um, and some planters to put those flowers in. And then we're gonna go home and plant them. again home again look at these pretty flowers set these here next to the other flowers that I bought a month ago these had a foot of snow on top of them and they managed to live look at how pretty those are so we have some planting to do and I see our Kroger order arrived and I have some lunch to make so we're gonna put groceries away eat lunch and then go outside and plant some flowers Is Sonic helping you put stuff into the dryer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Whatever gets the job done, right? While he is putting stuff into the dryer, I am going to find some canned chicken. There we go, got some of that. Okay, finish the job, buddy. This is what I'm making for lunch today. Life hack. <laughs> Mix what you're making in a food storage container, that way you don't dirty up an extra bowl, and then just put the lid on and pop it in your fridge. If you're making something like this, which is chicken salad. This is super simple. Kind of shred it up a little bit into the bowl. I'm gonna add some of this Primal Kitchen Totally Lime Mayo. This is made with avocado oil. Just a good healthy dollop. Add a little bit of onion powder. I have barely any left. Let's just use the last of that. Garlic powder, just a little bit. Salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll throw a little bit of uh, fresh dill in here. And sometimes it's not quite watery enough, so I will just like add a splash of tap water. Let me know in the comments what your favorite easy lunch is. For a long time for us, it was PB and J. And lately my kids have really been enjoying savory things. So I'm gonna get our veggie box out and serve it with the chicken salad. We got some crackers in our Kroger order. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is lunch. Yummy, yummy. I'm realizing this is the first solid thing that I've eaten since getting my Invisalign. Give it a try. Mom, did you know Haley? Mm. How was your chicken salad salad? Good. Mm. That lunch is so good. They're still munching away. And now I have lunch for tomorrow made. Now it is time for some coffee. Today, we are making a dupe of the Starbucks brown sugar shaken oat milk latte. So I have tried the Starbucks version of this drink and I think it's yummy, but I feel like if you have brown sugar in the name, it should really have that brown sugar flavor come through. I thought if we toasted the brown sugar just a little bit very quickly, that it would kind of bring it out a little bit more. So I'm taking my stainless steel milk pitcher from my espresso machine. I'm just gonna 
place it here on this burner. And I'm going to put a tablespoon, actually this is a half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of brown sugar into it, right there. I'm gonna shake it around and set it on the hot burner and maybe I'll get a little spoon here and like mix it around just to toast it up a little bit before we pull shots from my espresso machine into it. Okay, so the sugar is definitely brown. Be careful when you're doing this because the handle could get hot. It hasn't yet on mine because it's such a short little toast. You could also do this in a saucepan. You don't need like a metal pitcher or anything on your stove. But I would say that's done. I have decaf espresso ground up here in my machine. You do not have to do espresso. You can do brewed coffee too. But I'm gonna pull those shots straight over that hot brown sugar. Shots are in the pitcher and I'm gonna shake these up. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't really have any like bar supplies, like one of those special shakers or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna use my Yeti cup here with the lid that seals on. I'm gonna have to be careful with this. Maybe I'll put a towel on the top so it doesn't like spray. Um, I think they shake up this drink with the ice instead of like shaking it and then pouring it over ice. So I'm going to add some ice. <laughs> probably enough and then I'm going to add the oat milk just a little bit and then the oh yeah and and I'm noticing the brown sugar isn't like stuck to the bottom or anything it, it did like melt in with the espresso so pouring that in here Put the lid on make sure it's sealed where's the towel oh yeah glad I put the towel on it okay probably just drink it out of this but I kind of want to pour it into my little bunny cup but this doesn't hold very much so maybe I'll uh, let the kids have a little bit of it and they can share it it is decaf after all and I taste it out of here mm, what I'm tasting already it's really good a little bit for us so that's again. really good that is so good okay I'm not just saying it it's really good. If you guys like your coffee a little bit sweeter, I would do a full tablespoon or even more of the brown sugar. I did just a half tablespoon because I, I really try to limit my sugar and I don't like my coffee too sweet. But you can taste brown sugar. It's not just like this sort of unquantifiable sweetness, if that makes sense. Kind of like the one that is at Starbucks. I think this is better. I think this is better than Starbucks. Yummy. Yummy, is that good? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. It tastes like oatmeal. It tastes like oatmeal? That's because it's made with oat milk. If you guys tried this recipe, let me know. Go take a picture of it, post it on Instagram in your stories. Tag me so I can see it, because I think this is pretty good. So I'm gonna sip on this throughout the rest of the afternoon. Um, I have to go put the load of whites in the wash. Um, and once that is going, I think we're gonna go plant some flowers. I'll take my cup out with me and sip while we Put some pretty flowers outside. I think that'll be fun. When lights go out, you're in my mind. I close my eyes, so it's just you and I. And I tell You'll be back again When the stars are aligned We will dance In the meadow On our favorite place When spring is coming It is so beautiful out here right now. The kids all pooped out, they wanted to come inside. And I just wanna stay outside. I do not wanna go in there right now and do laundry, but it needs to be done. <laughs> Whenever my mom had um, primroses or tulips to plant like this, she would always let me help her. And I, I just loved it so, so much. And now it's fun to be able to do it with my own kids. And I've just been looking around at not just the flowers that I planted, but like the blossoms on our cherry tree and everything is just budding and blooming and I love it so much. God's creation is just so, so beautiful. And I think especially in the springtime, I'm just reminded of 
being renewed and reborn. I know not everyone who watches my channel um, has the same faith background that I do. I know we all come from different backgrounds and I absolutely respect that. Uh, I just wanted to share with you guys that that feeling that you get when you look around in the springtime or for those of you in the southern hemisphere in the fall time and you see this regeneration and this new life and it's just that feeling that like excitement sort of ah, feeling that you get in this time of the year is what we as Christians get to feel like all year long because that is what has been given to us like for ourselves that new life that rebirth that regeneration through Christ and it's just it's that time of the year as we're heading into the Easter season or really reflecting on it and so what we get to feel in our hearts all year long that peace and that joy that God gives us being able to look around and see it out in the world and in nature with everything blooming and growing it's just so so special and it just really makes it hit home I'm going to go inside as uh, much as I don't want to and I'm gonna get that laundry done and then make dinner um, the kids have what do you have tonight you guys gymnastics gymnastics Kids started gymnastics last week, so this is their only their second week that they've been going, but already they are loving it. We've been told that there's some good potential with their physical abilities, and so we shall see if this, you know, turns into something more long-term for now. It's about getting out and getting moving and having a skill to learn and having a coach to learn from, so that's pretty cool. So that's happening tonight, it's once a week. Um, and I've got to get dinner into them before we go. It's kind of at an awkward time of the night. The class starts right when we're usually starting dinner, so I have to feed them a little early, but then they're hungry afterward too, so maybe I'll pack some peanut butter sandwiches to have after we're done with the class, like on the ride home, because once we get home, it's definitely bedtime. The first order of business right now is laundry. Let's get that done. Again, back on since I'm not working outside anymore um, I was gonna make dinner I have a little bit of time I think right now I'm gonna show you what I got the kids for Easter um, usually I do like a separate what I got my kids for Easter video but I just thought I'd lump it into this video I'm keeping it pretty simple but they are starting their quiet time in their bedrooms Haley actually said she wanted to take a nap which never happens I think she's growing anyway um, while they're in their rooms having quiet time I'm gonna lay a couple of things out on my bed here and show you what's going in their Easter baskets um, and then we'll make dinner I think that's how we're gonna do it <laughs> Okay, so this is this year's spread for our Easter baskets. I also have outfits that I'm gonna show you in a second, but I'm really excited about this. Um, and I try to keep it practical and affordable. I employ some of the same concepts that I use for like Christmas stockings with their Easter baskets, which you'll see in a second. Um, but I wanted to show you this right off the bat. This is from the Radiant Ruth Etsy shop. This is a handmade um, He Is Risen tomb for Easter. I love this so much. These are handmade by a lovely lady on Etsy who made the um, wooden nativity, that beautiful wooden nativity that we have. I love that she makes ethnically diverse and accurate little peg people. So we have the three women at the tomb, a few disciples, we have Jesus, of course, and then the tomb, which is kind of like one of these stackable things. For the Easter baskets this year, I decided to make it individual this year. I just thought that would be fun, and I loved these ones. Ones. They have the um, handles that actually close down so they're easy to store. You can stack them in each other so they take up less room. 
very excited about that. Of course, got the little Easter grass to fill it up. And then for my Easter baskets or for um, like Christmas stocking stuffers, I always start with consumables. So these are things that won't take up a lot of room in our house because they're going to be eaten and gone through. So I have some snacks, these fun little bunny shaped veggie chips. I got them each their own box of cheddar bunnies because we go through these like nobody's business. And then I got these fruit bunny snacks. They come in little pouches, which I'll open and divide up amongst the baskets. And I mean, Easter would not be complete without a little bit of candy at least so we'll do a little easter egg hunt for them in our front yard which will have more candy in it we have these little peeps hard candy in these tubes which i know they will think those are really fun and then you have to have a reese's peanut butter egg and moving on to kind of like the theme for the basket which I, I try to do every year a little fun theme this is less themed than years before um but like i said the kids are in gymnastics and we didn't have any sort of gym gear or any of that we do now i just took the boys and we got a couple of pieces for them but I also bought these to put in their basket for some additional pieces. So this shirt says, give it all you got. I actually think we already have this one. I'll have to check. I think actually maybe Liam picked this out when we were in Target. So uh, I might have to exchange that one or they'll just have two, we'll see. Um, and then there's this one, which I love so much. Practice, practice, practice turns into progress, progress. How cool is that? This is the All In Motion brand from Target. And actually, I got their pants at a thrift store. Um, I was just there a couple of days ago and I found uh, this old Navy Active set of pants. And then this one, I believe, yeah, this is the All In Motion brand. It's a little pilled up, but that's okay. It is totally fine to go to a thrift store to buy gifts for your kids. Um, and these will be perfect for them. And then I also got them these little water bottles. We have aluminum water bottles for their water drinking at home, but I wanted to get something a little bit more portable and plastic so that they're not clunking around in the van or at the gym. And they have a little carrying handle. Got this blue one for this kiddo. Haley's um, little leotard. She has another one just like this. It's purple. You'll probably see it later on because she's gonna wear it to gymnastics tonight. Um, I thought that I would get her an alternate. So she has two leotards. How adorable is this? Oh my gosh, it makes me want to be a little girl again. And Haley right now is into all things super girly and pink. So I'm taking advantage of that. Um, I also got her these little slip on kind of foamy rubber sandals. These are from Target as well. The um, leotard is from Amazon, by the way. And I'll link everything that I can for you guys if you're still looking for... Um, Easter basket stuff for your kids or grandkids. So I got these for her so she could just slip them on really quick because you can't wear shoes during gymnastics. Um, and I also ordered a pair of slip-on like Adidas style like shower sandals. They haven't arrived yet so that will be added to it but they'll definitely be here by Easter. Um, and I also got Haley her own little water bottle. That is the gymnastics wear the kind of the theme of the baskets for them since that's their interest right now um and then we i just picked up a couple of additional things this little sidewalk egg chalk some of them have like little chicks on them how cute is that um so i'll probably like put a couple in each basket i got this mondo llama hues of you crayons which they're all skin color um, I, my kids always get frustrated because there's just like this weird pinky orangey peach is, and that's what they use for skin tones um, and then sometimes they'll grab a brown crayon. But I love that this is so diverse and it will give them the ability to um, color in the skin of whatever they draw or a coloring book that they're using. Um, we had this book before but it got water damaged. I found it under the boys' bed and I think one of their water cups fell on it. So I picked up a new one. I love this book so, so much. We have the God Gave Us Christmas book as well and it is so sweet and adorable and of course it brings back the message of 
what Easter truly is for us as Christians. So there's that book. I also picked up this book for Haley, When God Made You. So I have those couple of books and then this is all gonna be put into these baskets for the kids. And then what they're gonna wear on Easter, whether we're doing church virtually at home or we're going to be in person, it really just depends on what our state is doing at the time. I got these shirts for the boys. They're Cat and Jack from Target. This one has little dinosaurs on it. How cute. Um, and then I got these shorts from the um, boys section at Old Navy. So we're kind of doing like a little peachy and blue color, which kind of matches in with this dress, which some of you might recognize. Haley wore this as a dress on her first Easter. It was very special. She loves it. She has insisted on keeping it in her collection and it still fits her, but it's actually shirt length for her now because she's so tall and slender. I offered to get her a dress for Easter and she just was adamant that this is the one she wanted to wear. This is her Easter dress um, and she's just gonna wear a little pair of pants underneath and maybe her saltwater sandals and that is the little spread for the outfits and for what is going in the kids Easter baskets. Let me know in the comments how you do Easter baskets. If you do Easter baskets, let me know if you have anything that you're really excited to give the kids. It's so fun for me to find things that they're already interested in and like add that to the baskets because it's practical. It's something I would be buying anyway, whether it was Easter or not. So it gives me an excuse to kind of fill up and like beef up the baskets a little bit more. So this is fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we got our kids for Easter this year. Update, Haley didn't actually take a nap. <laughs> you rested a little bit though, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like to like five. You like five minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. This is what we're making for dinner tonight. She said she wanted to help me. We are making, uh, it's what I call pasta supreme. It's what the kids know as pasta supreme. It's basically just kind of like a beefed up version of pasta and red sauce. I just get pre-made sauce. You can do homemade. I'm not that mom. Maybe someday I will be, but we get sauce from a can. <laughs> this is the Good & Gather brand. This is their organic pasta sauce. And I'm going to mix together the Garden Combo sauce, which is really yummy. It has peppers in it. And just their regular old marinara. But before I dump that in the pot, I am going to brown some chicken sausage. I have hot Italian chicken sausage. This is from the Icernios brand. Um, and then just mild Italian chicken sausage. We don't do a lot of pork in this family, um, yeah. especially me. I, I pretty much avoid pork at all costs. Um, so we have this chicken sausage, which yeah. is really good. <laughs> is it so funny, Haley? We have to wash our hands if we touch a packaging for raw meat. Okay, so I'm gonna brown up the sausage in the bottom of the pan. And then once that's done, I add some frozen kale. This is frozen chopped kale. This is the Simple Truth brand from Kroger. I try to include vegetables and everything that we eat and this is a really good way to do it rather than just opening a can of sauce which on quick nights that's all I do. Um, but if I have a little bit of extra time I will add some protein by adding the ground chicken. I try to add leafy greens and nutrients that way with the frozen kale and it works out really good and we call it pasta supreme. We love this. And then we just serve this sauce. Like we'll brown the meat, throw the kale in. Sometimes I'll throw onions in. We'll throw the sauce in the pan, mix it all up, and then serve it over pasta. And cavatappi pasta is our favorite. I ordered daffodils and tulips like fresh cut to put in a vase on my table and I just left them over there so hopefully I didn't kill them by doing that so I'm gonna set them out on my table here but my table's a mess but I wasn't gonna clean it until after dinner but I just can't set beautiful flowers out on a dirty table so I'm gonna wipe down the table
eating dinner early is that Weston isn't here to join us. He's on his way home from work right now and he hopes that he can join us at gymnastics. He wasn't able to go last week because he was working late, but he's on his way home right now and hopefully he can either meet us there or he can meet us at home and we can all go together. It's a bummer we have to eat without him though, but this is so good. I love it. Pasta Supreme. <laughs> You guys doing? No, we win. Okay, guys. Hey, let's pause the playing. I need everyone to bring their plates up to the counter no, so I can I clean up. up oh, okay. We have 15 minutes before we need to be rolling out of the driveway. So I'm gonna set a five-minute timer to see how much I can get done, and then I need to freshen up to get out the door. I need everyone to go find masks. The kids had so much fun at gymnastics tonight and it was great for my husband and I to be able to watch them go through their little drills and routines. They're doing so well and I'm honestly just so, so proud of them. And it was a great close to an already really awesome day. And I'm so glad that you guys were here with me for this day as we got things done around the house. We got to plant those beautiful flowers and make coffee together and chit chat. I love each and every one of you and I'm so very grateful that you are here in this community. My get it all done or day in the life videos like this one are seriously my favorite videos to make and if you want to be sure to not miss the next one that comes out or any of my other motherhood or minimalism content then be sure to subscribe and turn that bell button on. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thanks so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later.